Hey y'all, I'm back with another video, period. And for those who are just now tuning in, just now stopping by, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. I'm bringing y'all story time on how I met my husband. But let me tell y'all. The tea. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I used to work at a restaurant. Ian. Before my husband started working at the restaurant that I was working at, he had two cousins already working there. And we're gonna call the boy cousin LA, he was a cook. And we're gonna call the girl cousin Yaya, she was a host. I was a server. And when my husband got there, he was a, um, a cook as well. He was a cook. So, you know, LA, I never liked LA working there like we just didn't you know he was too arrogant for me he was too cocky i didn't like that i was like Ugh, another one like please get over yourself like you was not even hot for real but anyway so elaine knew i didn't like him he always called me mean she mean she mean she mean anyway so this one day i came to work la was like um Hey, my cousin about to work here. And I said, okay. And I continued with my job because I knew I didn't like him or whatever. So, after I came back a few rounds in the kitchen or whatever, he was like, um, LA was like, you gonna like my cousin. And I was like, because the reason I'm going in and out, because we used to talk through this little, um, like, the line so you could see each other when you put the food in place out there we used to talk through there or whatever so he was like you gonna like my cousin i'm like no i'm not i don't like you so i kept it pushing maybe a week or a week and a half my husband comes strolling through the doors but he ain't saw his uniform that the restaurant required so i was like you said I was going like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. So, immediately I just continued to keep, you know what I'm saying, doing what I had to do to get out. Now, one day I was just, one day I came to work, I was just standing by the bed because it was slow. It was slow that day. We didn't really had nobody coming in or whatever. And I was talking to my homegirl, Elle, and I was like, um, we were just talking or whatever. So my husband come walking through the door and he was in street clothes. So I was like, okay, he doing a little something. And from then on, it was like, we was flirting pretty much. Me and my husband and I got clothes this particular night. And that guy was like, um, you want to ride with me because we going that way anyway and we could drop you off or whatever. And I was like, sure, because I was going to get on the bus. And I was like, sure, I'll go with y'all or whatever. Not knowing who y'all was, but I was going because they was driving, period. So, I was like, yeah, i go or whatever. So, she was like, all right. So, we was waiting, waiting. I'm thinking we waiting for the ride. And we... We really waiting for my husband to finish closing, but I didn't know we was waiting for him to finish closing. I was ready to be out, but I didn't know he was waiting for him to finish closing. So once they, he got everything done or whatever in the back, he came to the front and he was like, y'all ready? And I was like, oh, we going with him? <laughs> oh, we going with him? So I was already set for it, but I'm like, all right, cool, but you can go. So... He like before um 
before I drop you off, I was gonna go to the bar or whatever. Is that okay? Like, you know, just trying to see what's I cool with everything. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. So, you know, we get to the bar. I'm not of age to drink yet, but I was like right around the corner. Cause I told you I wasn't gonna tell you my age, but I was like right around the corner. So from being able to go to the bar. So I've never been into the bar really before. So I sat there and I was like, um, he's like, you know what you want to drink? And me trying to be grown, I'm like, yeah. So he was like, oh, what you want? I was like, a hey, martini. Because that's just something I always seen everybody get in the movies or whatever. And I was like, I'm gonna try that when I get older. So I was like, a hey, martini. So he's like, that's what you want? I'm like, yeah. So he got what he wanted. He got what I wanted and he paid for it. Yeah, I got drink too. So I was like, oh God, you know, vibing, you know, chilling or whatever. And then, you know, he started talking to me and he basically was telling me how he don't like everybody in his business and how um, he had a, a situation that was like basically toxic and um, if he was the lead, it would be on his own terms. It wouldn't be because of me and some stuff like that or whatever. So, you know, what caught my attention was that I'm no kin to this man. And he told me the truth. And I like that he told me the truth. I didn't ask him nothing. I didn't ask him to tell me the truth. I didn't ask him that he had a girlfriend. I didn't ask him about did he have kids. I didn't ask him nothing. So I started telling him, like, you know, it's art. I got a situation too, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's not that good of a situation or whatever, whatever. So we start just pretty much being best friends. We started like talking um, like every single day and we were seeing each other every single day. At this point, the relationships that we did have really didn't exist because we was with each other all the time. So that was basically like my man at this point picking me up dropping me off picking me up dropping me off every single night we was going out to um the bars we was going out to eat the restaurants we was going on dates like we was going everywhere like this was really my best friend and the good thing about it was i could was i was so um i could be so open with him i could be so i could tell him every single thing and he never once judged me and he could tell me every single thing we was the same person like that's how i feel like i was like okay you giving what I'm giving. You meeting me there. Like, so I eventually start liking him more and more and more. I was somewhere I ain't want to be. He was already out of his situation, like, for a while now. He was out of his situation. And I didn't want to be there. Um, it was toxic. Like, we was, me and, um, dude was, like, pretty much fist fighting at this point. Nah, nah. So, I used to call my husband and be like, come get me, or I'm going to meet you here, come get me. And I'll tell him my story or what had happened or whatever. And he used to be, what? The ear, he used to be hot. But I'm like, no, don't worry about it. Don't even um, say nothing. Don't do nothing. Because um, pretty much I was telling him, like, I didn't want to be there. I ain't like the relationship. Main man be always cheating ever since. You know what I'm saying? This ain't his first time putting his hands on me. My husband that and then he was like, So you trying to be out? And I'm like, Well, I mean, if I be out, where I'ma go? Or whatever the case may be, because I'm not like, no, I'm not mm mm. So he was like, all right, how about this? How about you look for a place? So I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, cool, bet. I could look for a place. But I didn't think he was too too um serious about moving with each other. So I was lacking a little bit of whatever. So he called me a couple days later. And we spoke every day. But this, the couple days later, he called me and was like, um, did you look for something or did you find something? Or whatever and I'm like oh all right he really like he really popping his shit he really trying that so I feel so I went in on to mine I feel three locations or whatever when I tell you like the process of uh, the process of finding this place was so easy mind you I'm young I never looked like 
what i never looked for no place before so but it was so easy um i found three places with the address down with the numbers down um and me and him both me and my husband both went to go look at these places the process was so fast it was like i didn't want to be somewhere i found a place or whatever and me and my husband moved in like two weeks here of course i told me and me like i was moving and i found some place because he he had like a bunch of doubt in me like he ain't like you probably you ain't shit you ain't never gonna be shit without me type of dude or whatever the case may be and i bossed up and got a place period so that's how I met my husband at a restaurant. And we was best friends first. Talked about everything. He had his little flaws. I had my flaws. But neither one of us judged each other. And that was where it was at. And um not saying that everything that we did was okay but it was okay for us because nobody know nobody know the stuff that neither one of us had to go through period and we found each other and we made it work and he loved me to death and i love him to death because <laughs> i'm gonna talk my shit period. and that's the story now what y'all could do is like comment and subscribe i'm just gonna give y'all how we met specifically that's how we met and what happened when we met everything else if you want to know more you gonna have to um and give this video a lot of thumbs up if y'all want to see part two if y'all want to see me talk about dude that was acting funny, go ahead and get me to 100 likes. That's all I'm asking. Get this video to at least 100 views. Like, what's up? Like, at least 100 views and 100 likes. That's all I'm asking. Like, you know, help me out with 100. With 100. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up.